We've got an update now to a story that we first told you about earlier this month when nine upstate middle schoolers were charged with making student threats. Those students had also faced expulsion from Charlestown Center Middle School. And today, 7 News has learned they will not be expelled. And for the very first time, a middle school parent at that school is speaking out exclusively to 7 News. The Charlestown Center off South Pleasantburg Drive is one of only a handful of schools for highly gifted students in the country. Those invited in must score at the very top of cognitive aptitude tests. But October 2nd, the upstate saw how even the smartest teenagers can make life changing mistakes. Nine students were charged by Greenville police with threatening a teacher on social media that included mentions of tampering with the teacher's car and the use of guns. This week, Greenville County Schools told 7 News that the students had gone before a third party hearing judge and a decision has been made. Parents confirm the district is pursuing other disciplinary measures that do not include expulsion. None of our nine students have been expelled from the Greenville County School District and we did have a number of our students return um, yesterday and we're expecting the balance of our nine students to return shortly. Julie Kane Swiner is a Charlestown Middle School mother. While her daughter did not know the students involved, she says the students who have returned were welcomed warmly by peers who are also learning from their classmates' mistakes. I think it's been a relief for all of our students, um, our middle school students, as well as parents. There have been so many lessons learned over the past um, several weeks, and we've all been, you know, kind of living this experience um, with those nine. So it was a relief to have them have some of them back yesterday. Kane Swiner wants all parents to be aware of a relatively new South Carolina law on disturbing schools. It mandates criminal charges for anything that is said, done, or written that can be construed as a threat against a teacher. I really hope that this whole experience really helps to shine a light uh, just on, the, on, on social media use in general and specifically on the law that became effective in May of 2018. And that Charlestown Center mother is thankful to the Greenville County School District for what she calls the students' best interest, keeping that in their minds and making decisions regarding their consequences. And meanwhile, those students are still facing school threat charges, despite investigators finding the threats were not credible. Well,